So this is Bailey. He's a BSD, a Belgian Shepherd, is a turf, nine years of age. This pair come from North Allerton. So this dog's nine years of age. You can compete with any dog age dog you want to. They have to be 18 months of age though before they can start competing. This dog's nine and as you can see, he's fit and well. The dogs usually tell you when they've had enough, when they want to stop working, but this sport really does keep them fit and able, both mentally and physically. Brenda just hanging back for that turn into the cloth tunnel, and then they're coming into a little box of jumps round the outside, over the kennel club jump, and into the weaving poles. Most difficult thing to teach. Look at the style of that dog through there. Up to the seesaw. The seesaw must be touching the ground before it gets off it. Into the right end of the tunnel to a thunderous round of applause for... Brenda Hollis. Now that's better, everybody. That was, that was more like the round of applause that we expect for each and every one of our competitors. Well done, Brenda. Look, she's got a big smile on her face. So again, put your hands together for Daphne Loveland and Tyke. And they're from Carlisle. This dog's six. It's an Australian Kelpie. A breed that's come into the sport in the last few years, really come into its own. Most unlike this dog to have a couple of fences down, they really are made for this sport. Typical Kelpie apparently loves to work, especially agility. Barks a lot apparently when he's waiting to work or when he's bored. Look at that nice style going through the weaving poles up to the seesaw. They must make contact with these red bits. They're called contacts. Oh, and he's gone into the wrong end of the tunnel, but never mind. We don't care. Nobody told the dog. Well done. It's always a little bit dispirited, but uh, the dog doesn't care. He doesn't know he's been eliminated. So next from Preston, we've got Petra Craven Houghton with Difa, a Labrador cross. Yeah, give her a cheer. Eight-year-old, this dog. And Petra says that he's actually just been a dream dog. Oh, and he's away, and Petra wasn't ready. Oh, dear. Oh, he's going to be in trouble for that, I think. No, he's not. Such, they just really want to do this. That it really is difficult to try and get them to wait on the start line because they have just a fantastic time. He didn't see why he should wait one bit. Still, they're on track again now. Oh, nicely picked up the weaving poles. Plenty of encouragement there from Petra. Steadying him down for the seesaw nicely on there. In the right end of the tunnel this time. Last one to go. And a clear round for Petra in a time of 34.43. And that puts Petra into the lead. So just to remind you, it's a two-part competition. Next to go is Kira McCrowther. And she's from Edinburgh. Any Scots in, give her a cheer. This is her dog, Skip, seven years of age. A Labrador Greyhound cross. Came from the Dogs Trust, this dog. A lot of agility dogs come from the rescue organizations. Do, do such fantastic work, they really do. Lives with her other two collies, apparently. And this was the top ABC dog in Scotland. A Couple of mistakes creeping in now, but as I said to you just now, Although Kira knows that she's been eliminated, the dog does not, which is the great part, because he's just still having fun. Great big round of applause for Kira and for Skip. So next to go, we've got Colin Skeeping from Isha in Surrey, Surrey with his dog Tully. This is a bearded collie, as you can see. Tully is actually a trained stunt dog, trained for films. And you might have seen him, if you're a bit of a film buff, in The Midsummer Murders. And he's also been in Holiday with Cameron Diaz. So he's worked with the stars. So this is actually what this dog does for fun. This is what he does on his days off. And there are about 300 registered shows up and down the country every year. Really is a great social sport. Slipping a little bit on the carpet, but he's well used to this now. Nicely into the weaving poles. Coming up towards this nasty seesaw. Oh, he's done that nicely. Come on, Colin. Is he clear? Yes, he is at the moment. One more to go. Roo! Colin escaping and Tully. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ah. 
Colin, if you think you're coming back next year, mate, you're sadly mistaken. That's it, everybody. The entry fee's going up 50p next year to pay for the damages. So, and I said this this morning, but I know I'm not supposed to have favourites, but this is my favourite ABC. This is Thomas, the German Shepherd. And if you listen, yes, he's off already. He barks his all the way round. It's been handled by his owner, Melanie Engelbrecht, and they're from Luton. And uh, he's just a fantastic dog. He may not be the fastest dog in the world, but he just epitomises how much a dog loves doing this sport. He's made a mistake. Melanie knows he's made a mistake, but she really is. She's just keeping him happy. She hasn't bothered to take him back. He's been eliminated, but he just wants to do, do Come on, do an extra two. Do the last two. Come on, Melanie. He's great. He's a fantastic dog. Melanie and Thomas. So, who have we got next? Nikki Keeler with Cruz, the Belgian Shepherd, seven years of age. Nikila Highland Cruz is his Kennel Club registered name. Apparently this dog loves the crowds, loves to show off. And apparently this dog usually thinks he knows better than Nikki, so they sometimes have a little bit of an argument in the ring. And I have to say that, that Cruz normally wins the argument. You can see Belgians, very popular breed in agility. Just gone into the wrong side of the weaving pole. They must go to the left of that first pole and then in and out alternately after that. So onto the seesaw, showing a nice bit of control there into the right end of the tunnel. One more jump to go for Nikki Keeler. So this is the second part of a two-part competition. At the end of this, we shall have presentations for this competition and then there'll be an overall prize for the best ABC he competing here today. So this is Carl Lumley from Norwich, and this is uh, an Australian Kelpie. And this dog, would you believe, is deaf, totally deaf. So if you watch Carl, it, it doesn't stop the dog doing the, the sport to an extremely high standard, but what you will see is Carl making every effort to make sure that the dog can see him at all times, because he takes his directions from Carl And as you can see, he's deaf, but it's not really a problem for the dog whatsoever. He's just having a good time. So, give them a grrr, Carl! You're gonna go back and do the last one, Carl. Come on, come back and do the last one for us. Because then they'll give you a really big round of applause then when you do the last one. Yes, there we go. Absolutely fantastic. So, two more dogs to go, and uh, the standard just keeps getting better and better. Now, this is Andy Brown from Worcester with Sky, with his Gronendale. Um, Hydran Chasing Stormy. And this, actually, this Belgian Shepherd was the Belgian Shepherd Agility World Champion in 2005 and 2006. Of the world, this is. So, that was the Agility Belgian Shepherd Dog Championships. And you can see why. It really is a very stylish dog, very good looking. And that's just the dog as well. He said the dog could be brilliant if he wasn't such a rubbish handler. But that's not actually true because Andy is one of our top handlers in the country. And you can see why. Look at that style through there. He'll steady him down just for the seesaw, make sure he gets it. Two more to go. Can he do? Yes, he can. Oh, what a fantastic round there from Andy Brown. A clear round there in 31.89, puts him into the lead. Well, Andy, what a... Just one more that can beat you. But can it be Mr. Nigel Staines? He's from Alston and Cumbria. He's got his groupies with him over there in the corner. And this is Zico, Australian working Kelpie, a bitch, four years of age. Been a very, very successful dog, this. An advanced agility dog. And he's put, no commentator's curse, please, because normally when I say what a fantastic round this dog's having, he knocks a pole down or something. So what I will do is just leave you to enjoy the workmanship of this dog.
Can't resist it. Come on, Nigel. <laughs> Two more to go. Come on, Nigel. Can't knock one down now. Ah, is he happy or what? So I'm not going to tell you who's won. I'm going to leave that just for a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree, a fantastic competition. Whether they got eliminated or whether they've won it, please put your hands together and give them a great big Crufts 2007 round of applause. The first presentations we're going to do is for this afternoon's competition. And the winner of that was Mr. Nigel Staines and Zico. In second place was Andy Brown with Sky. And in third place was Petra Craven Houghton with Difa. So well done to them. So absolutely fantastic. So all that remains for me to do now is just to announce to you the overall winner. And the overall winner is the is the best combined results of this morning's competition and this afternoon's competition. So again, I'd like to ask Mr. Steve Barrett if he kindly step forward. And the winner of the overall ABC competition is Nigel Staines. And his working Kelpie Zeta. So again, I'd like to ask Mr. Steve Barrett if he'd step forward and present this lovely commemorative Put Nigel down, that's it. But that's how we train the dogs. Look at him. All he wants to do is play. And that is how we train our dogs. Play and reward. Play and reward. And he's having an absolutely fantastic time. So what we're going to ask Nigel to do is just give him a quick lap round the ring. In fact, we'll get all three of them. Give us a quick, quick go round the ring. Go on, Petra, follow on. And Andy, well done. Absolutely fantastic. The best of the anything but collies.